Can't blame him for the attempt, but, you know, he did change back. He's a good sport about it, but this last matchup is on Periton Rumble, the last matchup of the Grand Finals of SCS number 162. Of course, it is a city ruinous map with lots of places to hide, not many places to run. Here we go. Ship number one is the Protoss Tip Box, piloted by Water It's Me, a Gat Artemis Pyramidian with side Banshee, and a, a 10 Lens Array. Ship number two is the Surtees Crackers, piloted by Mighty Cab, a Watch Aspire. Brawl Spire with Gatling, Mortar, and Gatling. Ship number three is the Friendfish, piloted by Dementio. A Watch Fish with side, Caro, and Gatling. And ship four, Team Rocket, piloted by Spudnik. Artemis up front, Gat Mortar on one side, Mine Launcher, and Artemis on the other. And I'll give you three guesses as to who's the gunner on this ship, who's going to be on the Mine Launcher, and the first two don't count. Of course, that would be Miki on that Mine Launcher. Miki, of course, making his claim to fame during... Uh, the cash tournament in which he basically went mines for days, and it was a clinic, a how-to on Mine Launcher. We will see how it plays out as the Friendfish getting the back of the Sturdy's Crackers. Team Rocket also putting Artemi into the Sturdy's Crackers. There is a hole break both on the Friendfish and the Team Rocket as well. Uh, looks like Blue is in a bit of trouble here. Proto's Tipbox coming to play here. It looks like Proto's Tipbox is the one that appears to be doing a number. Oh, and Sturdy's Crackers backing up the truck into the Friendfish. Looks like they're going to try to get um, try to get the watch onto the friend fish. Can't blame them here. As they are backing it up, just getting over the broken crane. I would suspect a watch is coming out any second. And there's the hole break on the friend fish, but Protoss Tipbox is in a awkward position here. Watch it going out from the Sturdy's Crackers. Sturdy's Crackers getting aggressive here. Hole break on the Friendfish. A mine hitting the Sturdy's Crackers. Sturdy's Crackers realizing this. They're going to back up. Friendfish hole broken again. They get it back up. Artemi going into the Protoss tip box. Friendfish now with the watch into the Sturdy's Crackers. Sturdy's Crackers getting hole broke. Oh, excuse me, Friendfish getting hole broken again. Friendfish losing their watch as well as all guns on their ship. Yeah, this appears to be a situation where everybody is content to just chip away at each other. Nobody's really looking for the big play just yet. Kind of a feeling out process in this final matchup of SCS number 162. Both teams not looking to get too aggressive. Each side has a way to counter the other. The Watch Aspire on one side. You've got, of course, the Mine Launcher on Team Rocket, plus the Watch on the Friendfish. Blue going more control, red going more kill. And right now, the kill side is beating the control side. And Protoss Tipbox with that Artemis trying to do things. Not really able to do much right here. Friendfish looking for cover. Sturdy's Crackers looking to get aggressive. They are going to move around the mines. Keb looking to get aggressive. Will Protoss Tipbox follow or will they take the lead? Sturdy's Crackers looking to back up here. Can't blame them. They need Protoss Tipbox. If I'm Protoss Tipbox, if I'm Protoss Tipbox, what do you do here? Do you actually go in aggressive for Sturdy's Crackers? Do you take the aggressive approach? Do you let Sturdy's Crackers take the front? This is this is an interesting decision. Team Rocket's going around the corner. It looks like Red deciding to play it safe, and their decision may pay off as Team Rocket not able to do anything there. And looks like Red realizing this is probably not the best decision to move in. They're just going to hang out right now. Red looking to turn the corner. They get spots. Sturdy's Crackers realizing this. They're not going to make the move. Looks like it's a game of cat and mouse. Whoever makes the first mistake is going to be the first death. Both teams playing very, very cautiously. And you can't blame them for playing cautiously. You can't blame them. Proto's tip box apparently might be trying to bait. Blue out here as they're getting shots out onto the friend fish. And there's a watch. It looks like Red has decided now's the time to get aggressive here. Now is the time. Sturdy's Crackers getting watched for their efforts. Proto's tip box moving in. They're home broken. Friendfish is, appears to be the target for Red as a mine goes out still just not able to get those mines in the in in a place that can stop Sturdy's crackers, but that's not a, that's not the fault of the gunner at that point, nor is it anybody's fault really. It's just a matter of Red playing a very, very patient, surprisingly patient game, and a a refreshing change of pace from Sandwich Predators. Not normally known for their passiveness, not normally known for their defensive tendencies. They are normally a, a very aggressive team, especially Mighty Kev, who is showing great patience here. As Friendfish turning the corner, Team Rocket may be turning the corner. Looks like Friendfish is probably going to go for a backdoor flank here. 
with the Team Rocket. Look, uh oh, Team Rocket getting caught out there on on an island. Sturdy's Crackers looks like they're going to make a beeline for this Team Rocket. Yes, they are. Friendfish forced to turn the corner. Team Rocket home broken. Team Rocket is in big trouble here. Friendfish moving in aggressively on the Sturdy's Crackers. No, they're going to move for the Pro's Tip Box. No, they're going to move for the Sturdy's Crackers. And probably the best decision they can make right there. They're going to try to slam them into the environment. It's a DPS race. Team Rocket bottoming out. Friendfish trying to get the Ram kill. No, they're not going to get it. Sturdy's Crackers backs up, and Proto's Tip Box wins the DPS race. 1-0 in favor of Sandwich Predators. Friendfish is in trouble. This could be 2-0 any second. Quatch going into the Protoss tip box. However, they die. It is 2-0 in favor of Red. Sandwich Predators is now three kills away from winning SCS number 162. Red showing great patience there. Great patience. Blue trying to bait them in. And by showing that patience, they showed controlled aggression, catching Team Rocket in a bad spot catching them in a very bad spot in a 1v2, and then the 1v1 was won from there as um, Sturdy's Crackers was forced to tank it against a potentially uh, awkward position. It worked out for him. It worked out. That's all that matters. The controlled aggression worked 2-0 in favor of Red, but that was dicey for the Sturdy's Crackers for a couple seconds there. But they made it work, and now Friendfish and Team Rocket back in the picture. And now it looks like uh, both sides looking to spot each other. They've got the spots out as Team Rocket moving in, looking to blast off again. And those rockets definitely blasting off into the Protoss tip box. However, Sturdy's Crackers... Oh, Sturdy's Crackers has something here. Friendfish is out of position here. So Team Rocket's in trouble. Two Gatlings going into them. That is Daka, much Daka, very Daka going into the Team Rocket. They're whole broken already. Oh, they could die here. Friendfish very late into the party here. Friendfish finally getting that watcha in to the Protoss tip box. The rest of it going into the Sturdy's Crackers. A good decision taking out all those guns. A very smart decision waiting. Team Rocket now back in the picture. They've lost a lot of perma hope for their efforts. Friendfish hole broken though. Friendfish is hole broken. That Spire feeling very inspired right now. They're going for the Team Rocket. This is probably a good choice right now. Going for the Team Rocket. A well-timed watcha and they are going down as the Team Rocket. Friendfish, meanwhile, looking to get aggressive on the Sturdy's Crackers. Oh, Sturdy's Crackers may have gone too far out. They are right next to environment. Friendfish sees this. Sturdy's Crackers sees this as well. They're going to go for a sandwich here. Sandwich, uh, Predator Sandwich going for the sandwich here. Or Sandwich Predators, I should say. Hole break on the Friendfish. Watch it going out. A good portion of that watch it misses. However, they get half a clip in there. Hodas tip box now turning for the Friendfish. They should probably try to get that main engine. In fact, that's what they're aiming for. That main engine appears to already be out. Sturdy's Crackers looking to get the Gatling into the Friendfish. Hull break on the Friendfish. That should be a kill right there. That should be a kill. The watch a follow-up should do it. Indeed, it does. 3-0 in favor of Red. Seeing which Predator is now two kills away from winning SCS number 162. Team Rocket at 15% perma. They are in a world of hurt right now against two Red ships that are in almost pristine condition. Sturdy's Crackers now backing up the truck, trying to make sure they do... Oh, they run into the mine intentionally to pop Team Rocket. A brilliant decision right there by Sturdy's Crackers. And they are in trouble. They are stuck on the environment. There's a there's a watcher. There's a hull break. That should be a kill. And now Sandwich Predators one kill away from winning SCS number 162. Sandwich Predators absolutely showing us how it's done. As I said before, if it gets... If it gets down to Periton Rumble, you got to ask yourselves, is it advantage because uh, for Red because Mighty Keb is there? Mighty Keb, a specialist on this map. This is the map he dreams of day in and day out. You put him on this map, he is almost automatic. Protoss Tipbox moving in on the Friendfish. So is Sturdy's Crackers. They realize this is almost GG. They are going to get very aggressive here. Where did Ship 4 spawn? Ship 4 spawned way out there. That is not a good spot for them to spawn. They are way out there as a Junker. Friendfish is in trouble. They are in big trouble. They are trying to escape. They are barely able to get around the Sturdy's Crackers. Protoss Tipbox, meanwhile, shutting the door on the escape. Friendfish denied the escape right there. Protoss Tipbox shuts them down with the left side of the Pyramidium. Friendfish still shut down. However, they are themselves between a rock and a hard place. Protoss tip box hole broken for their efforts. Watch it going into the Friendfish. Protoss tip box is in trouble. They may go down. They do indeed go down 4-1 in favor of Red. However, Blue finally on the board. Blue has to run the table to win SCS number 162. They have to run the table. Friendfish, however, is hole broken. They're getting shots into the Friendfish. They might have something here at a 1v2. Oh, there's that armor going down. There is 50% perma gone from the Friendfish. Sturdy's Crackers is going to get very aggressive here. You know they will. They're looking for an aggressive play. They're looking to do anything they can. Team Rocket with a great block. Diving down, hitting the hitting the balloon. But it might not matter as the Friendfish still goes down. And it is over, folks. 
Sandwich Predators wins SCS number 162 by a score of 5-1. to one. Well done by Sandwich Predators. Well done by all of our teams here today. And that is going to do it, folks, for Sunday Community Skirmish number 162. Thank you so much for tuning in to this tournament, folks. I will have VODs up most likely tomorrow, maybe Tuesday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, my name is Lasagna. Not Lasagna, signing out for the afternoon. And for all of our referees, and for Solidus Bucket, uh, our referees, of course, today were um, Earbud Music and Dianoli. Thank you so much for tuning in, folks. Good night, everybody.